Welcome back everybody. Um, I know I said that I was going to be doing more videos, which is why I'm here. Um, for those of you who do not know, my name is Fallon Favors um, and I'm a busy lady. You know, I'm an R&B artist, recording artist. Uh, I am into real estate, property management. Um, I have a daughter. Um, so I'm a busy lady. I have a lot of things going on, but um, building up the content on this page and kind of having these dialogues with you guys is super super important to me there's so many things to discuss as far as just like the things we deal with as women specifically like in relationships and with the opposite sex and you know the the weight of my content as far as my music is concerned is centered around like you know those relationships and the things that we have to go through as women and dealing with you know men and things like that so that's why i'm here we just gonna try game and really like talk about shit that you would talk about with your homegirls you know what i'm saying like that's what we're here to do so the last video um for those of you that watched thank you so much for everybody who supported that last video left comments subscribed i got some new subscribers i'm so excited about that um there were ladies that reached out to me in the comments just about their feedback their experiences and you know that's why i'm here i'm here to help i'm here for us to be able to have this conversation to have these dialogues to talk about it so continue to support continue to tap in with me and you know let me know how this conversation you know applies to you so again last video that i shot was about um the top five ways to get over your baby daddy right so this video is going to be kind of like a part two to that and this is going to be the top five ways to deal with the baby daddy's new girlfriend okay so it's kind of like in stages so like the first you know step is kind of just um you know kind of finding a way to be able to exist in a space with your baby daddy without being with him which does require some um focus attention and effort right especially if you're on your grown woman shit you're trying to handle your shit the right way so you have a good relationship with your baby's dad um and then you know in addition to that obviously you know your baby daddy is gonna move on date other people especially men because they can't be by themselves so he definitely will be moving on and dating other women and it comes a point in time where baby daddy says like okay well this is my new girlfriend you know so it's ways in which you can deal with that it's not necessarily the easiest thing to do um again as mentioned in my previous video like it's enough with having a boyfriend and he move on and you got to see him on instagram or something like that with his new chick like as your baby's father somebody you're connected to you have no choice but to deal with him especially if you're talking about your child being under the age of like five sis okay i got my notes right here okay we about to go through it i'm about to give you the game based on my experience based on things that i've been through and that i've seen work you know so we're gonna get into it by the way, if you guys have not, I got to get on my YouTube shit, right? Okay? So, for all of you guys that have not subscribed, make sure you press you press the subscribe button. Make sure to check out all of my music videos that I dropped. Um, I dropped a project at the beginning of this year by the name of Majesty. Super dope four-song uh, four EP. Um, super, super dope. So, make sure to check all of my stuff out. I'm on Apple Music, iTunes. Just go ahead and uh, enter my name into the search bar, Fallon Favors, and you'll find everything. Got it? Okay, cool. So let's get into it uh before i forget she brought wine let me tell you how ratchet i am right so i didn't even come with a full bottle this is like the leftovers of something that i was already drinking right got it but i'm gonna be having a little sip of wine because this conversation requires a little bit of relaxation right um and shout out to Nufi, um one of my um co-workers a while back visited uh, and went to australia and bought me back this super cute little kangaroo like wine stopper super cute i love this and what i'm drinking today is chalice lane merlot um i'll drink a white a red does not matter i'm not bougie with the with the and i don't really have a preference um but i do prefer wine over like hard liquor if i have a choice um so cheers All right, you guys, so tip number one in finding ways to deal with your baby daddy's new girlfriend. Do not compare yourself, okay? Do not compare yourself. Do not compare yourself. So as women, it's kind of a thing that exists within us that I really um, 
regret and kind of like, you know, I resent. Um, we're naturally competitive creatures. Uh, we compete with each other in the job market. We compete with each other in um, our relationships or, you know, with men um, and just in general, you know, her ass is fatter than mine. Her hair is longer than mine. She's, you know, cuter than me or she has more than me or she has a, a man and I don't. It could go on and on and on. And I feel like a part of your development as a woman is to kind of like, first of all, just acknowledge that some of that, those things are innately in us as women to be kind of territorial and kind of competitive that way. But then to kind of check it. You know what I'm saying? And break yourself out of those those habits. Those are not good habits to have. It's not cute. It's very unattractive, actually. So um, when your baby daddy moves on um, and, you know, he has this new girlfriend, of course, the first thing we, we want to do is size her up. We got to look her up and down. We got to know what, what her shape like, what her face like. You know, is she college educated? Do she have a job? You know what I'm saying? Um what kind of things she has going on. Does she have kids? You want to know the full scope. And then, unfortunately, um, you know, we begin to compare ourselves to that woman. And you cannot do that. You know, whether you and your mind feel like she has things or encompasses things that you don't, um, it's just not healthy for you. And that's not a, a sign of self-love. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to do that. You don't want to compare yourself to nobody, not just baby daddy's new girlfriend you don't want to compare yourself to nobody because your strongest power i don't care what you look like i don't care what your insecurities are your power is the fact that you are you you're different nobody can outdo you being you period so the things that make you unique the things that kind of set you apart from every other person on this planet that is your power as a woman and so as long as you have that and you're staying true to that and you have a really strong foundation of what that person who that person is you're good. So you don't have any reason to feel insecure about, you know, this new girl that's coming into the picture again. That doesn't matter what she look like, you know. And this is another thing. This is probably some other stuff that I'm going to probably bring up in another topic. But if you're one of those females that say shit like, you know, well, if you was going to get with somebody or you was going to cheat on me, you could have at least made it, you know, her, her cute or whatever. She woo woo. Because then a lot of times girls judge and they say, okay, she doesn't look as good as me, so I'm good. Let me tell you. Aesthetic does not have, let me not say it doesn't have anything to do with, that is not the it all be all when it comes to a man. A man will fuck on anything, especially if she looks good. Like she's going to get the attention of men. She's going to get the interest of men. But those are not always the men, the women that men lock down, marry, you know what I'm saying? Settle down with. That's not always the case. And I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of men and you see women that they would or whatever and be like, how the fuck did she, did she, did she snag him? Because it's beyond looks. When a man is really on his shit and tapped into who he is, you know what I'm saying? He knows like, okay, I need to be connected with somebody who's spiritually sound. I need to be connected with somebody that's on their shit. And that don't really have nothing to do with how you look. You know what I'm saying? So... Stop comparing yourself also and feeling like you look better than them or you feel like you got one up on whoever this new girl is because you don't know what it is that she's bringing to the table. You know what I'm saying? That'll, that'll, that'll fuck you up. Like, don't don't compare in that way because, again, you don't know what it is she's bringing to the table. You don't know what type of connection it is that they have with each other. You know, when that connection be real and, and dudes connect to a female, it be beyond the physical. It starts to become beyond the physical. You know what I'm saying? So, again, don't compare yourself. Um, have confidence in who you are as a unique individual and being. And, you know, let that be that. Okay, so tip number two, okay? Um, discuss this new girlfriend um, with your baby daddy and kind of discuss the criteria for how that new girlfriend should interface with your child, okay? Um you need to kind of set some ground rules and you are well within your right to be able to do that. You are the mother of this child or children. Um, this is your child, okay? The one that you birthed and brought into this world. Nobody takes precedence over your final word and authority. You know what I'm saying? That is what it is. You are the mother of this child. So, you know, show your baby daddy that you can be mature and say, hey, you know, um, I know you got a new girlfriend and I know we're no longer together. 
but I would like to have a conversation with you, you know, kind of like with where I stand as far as our child is concerned, you know, as far as your personal relationship with her, that's none of my business. I don't want to impede or intrude on that, but I do want to make it clear how I feel about my child being around this particular individual. You know what I'm saying? You are well within your right to say that if your baby daddy, baby's father have any issue with you standing up for yourself in that way and you know wanting to make sure that these rules are kind of set and laid down you may have a problem on your hands because <laughs> um that shouldn't be a problem and he should be mature enough to handle that he should respect that because a lot of times or whatever the baby mama is just so envious and jealous and act so nasty that you know they don't even want it i don't want to talk about her i don't want to be involved with her i don't you know woo, woo, woo. it's like no like if this person is going to be around my child i need to talk to them i need to not even talk to them but i need to let you know to let them know what my expectation is as it pertains to my child and again the younger your child is the more critical this conversation with your baby daddy is you know what i'm saying because a lot of times kids can't speak up for themselves they're not old enough to really understand the logistics of you know inappropriate versus appropriate type of interaction so it's important that your baby's father is on board with you as far as that is concerned and that could be anything from you know i don't want my child spending the night at nobody else's house but yours you know so if 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 baby daddy have a girlfriend and they're not cohabitating and she has her own spot somewhere and they doing their thing like nigga you could do what you want to do but i don't want my baby spending the night over at nobody's house but your own or your yo family your mom or whatever you know what i'm saying stuff like that or i don't know um you know just just whatever your ground rules are whatever makes you feel comfortable within that situation as far as your child is concerned and gives you peace of mind those are the instructions you need to provide to your baby daddy so that way he's clear um and let these things because i do have that notated here don't let it be like emotional reasoning though like I don't want I don't want my child doing any type of activities with anybody but me. Like I don't want I don't want y'all going out or whatever and stuff like that. If you want to be with your new girlfriend, but I don't want my baby around her. Unless you got beef with the girl and the beef is warranted, like this bitch done stole your money, or you know what I'm saying? Like tried to beat you up, or um if you know she's just not a solid person, she don't take care of her own kids, she don't take care of herself, the bitch is a bum. You know what I'm saying? If it's not none of those reasons, don't get caught up into feeling like, okay, I don't want, don't make it a, a hater thing. Like, I don't want you around her or, you know, I don't want my child around her. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't let it be emotional. Let it be based on the safety and the well-being of your child. Let the parameters be based around that to, again, ensure the safety of your child. Because to keep it 100, like, it do be women out here that's sick. It's sick men out here, you know what I'm saying, pedophiles, and it's also sick women as well. So you have to be careful with, you know, who you're allowing around your child. And your baby daddy should be on board with that. He shouldn't have no problem with that. So, you know, for sure. Tip number three. This is a big one, y'all. Okay, let me take a sip. Pardon me because this is a big one. Ditch the jealousy ditch the jealousy ditch the jealousy so going back to tip number one as women we are naturally catty we naturally um you know are in competition with each other whether it be consciously or subconsciously you have to as a woman right okay and even for my younger ladies right because i'm a woman of a particular age you know what i'm saying so but for my young baby, you know, women and the people that's fucking with me, like 19, 20, 21, 22, um, I would rather give you this game now opposed to you having to be older and still kind of like moving in this way. Like it's the most unattractive thing in the world to constantly be in competition with women. You, you be that type of woman that, you know, come into a room full of women or, you know, you walk in somewhere, whatever, and you just frowned up, your face is frowned up. You know, a, a young lady might smile at you because she thinks you're pretty or she's just trying to be nice. She has good energy or a positive spirit and you got the stank look on your face or whatever. And all of that really stems from insecurity. And the only thing you're doing when you're acting like that is showing it. You better off hiding it. If that's really how you feel and you're dealing with insecurity issues, take that shit home with you and, and unpack that shit when you get by yourself. But don't step into a place in a, in a space where... 
you just got hate written all over your face. You know what I'm saying? All of those things translate to the baby daddy's new girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Because that's going to be your prime and most optimal reason for wanting to be a hater and wanting to be jealous because it's like you still may have feelings for your baby daddy your baby daddy still might be checking on you on the low and trying to play house with you um one of my um you know followers basically under the youtube thing was telling me how her baby daddy still be trying to like play house with her and but they're not together it's like you know that can make you even more jealous you know what i'm saying and, and want to like sabotage their situation don't get caught up into being a hater you know what I'm saying? Ditch that jealousy shit. And that, again, ties back into number one, like with the comparisons. Just don't don't focus on, on that part of it. You need to really kind of get secure with who it is that you are. Um, and that'll make you feel a lot more at peace and at ease with the fact that, you know, it's somebody that you care about or somebody that you were close to or had a close relationship with that they're building something with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? But don't allow hate to seep through because it's so unattractive and your baby daddy feel that like that shit is whack like you 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 let him win if your if your agenda is to not stun on him but you know if your agenda is to kind of like nigga i'm okay like i'm not worried about you like acting like that it's not gonna be in your best interest that is not gonna be what you know sends a signal to him like damn my, she real confident she on her shit like it's gonna be the exact opposite so Ditch the jealousy, okay? Leave the hater vibes with the bitches that, you know, they belong to, okay? Tip number four. Tip number four, okay? Um, keep yourself busy. Keep yourself busy. Um, if you are raising a child, that's already going to consume a lot of your time. Again, the younger your child is, the more time, the more, yeah, the more time consuming that's going to be, right? Um, so you're already busy with that. Um, you should be in school, working, chasing a career, finding out what your life path is. Like that should be top on your priority list. It just, those two things alone, right? Should be keeping you very, very busy. You know what I'm saying? You should be attacking your goals every single day. You know, the younger you are, you may, or the older, sometimes it don't have nothing really to do with age. Like you could be you know, in your 30s and still not really know, like, damn, what do I want to do? You know what I'm saying? You have to really spend some quiet time with yourself. Go back to when you were 9 or 10 years old and think about the biggest dreams that you ever had for yourself when you didn't have anybody telling you that they weren't attainable, right? Zone in and key in on that and figure out if that's really what lights your heart on fire and focus on that. Put your energy and mind and, and energy into that. Again, that plus taking care of your child should, you know, take up tons of your time. And then outside of that, you know, it's making sure that the relationship with your family is 100. Spend time with your, your aunties, your uncles, your granny, your cousins. Spend time with your friends, you know what I'm saying? Going out to movies, going out to, you know, festivals or, you know, concerts and things like that. Keep yourself busy with activities. Um... You know, in the first video, too, I talked a lot about, like, doing things like yoga, meditation, um, working out, staying active. Keep yourself busy. Don't be pressed over no nigga, especially if you've made a decision to kind of, because you know in your heart that that's not really where you need to be. And that doesn't necessarily mean that's where you don't need to be forever, because sometimes it is a situation where baby daddy gets more mature and he can come back and get his shit together, especially if you own your shit. But, um, you know, just, just focus on bettering yourself and keeping yourself distracted. Because if you don't have nothing going on, if you have nothing happening, all you're going to be doing is focused on, okay, the, uh, my baby daddy posted a picture of his new girlfriend. Um... And it's going to bother you because you have nothing else happening. I remember when I was younger and my child was probably like, because my child is 11 now. So I remember my child was, she could have been like four or something like that. And my baby daddy had a new girlfriend who I did not like. The girlfriend that he has now is super sweet. Like she's cool. But this bitch before, she was a hater though. Like she, I guess she felt intimidated that you know, she felt like I could get him back if I wanted to. Like, that was the energy that I got from her, at least. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I remember my daughter used to always come back home and be like, oh, you know, me and my dad and so-and-so, we went here and we did this. And, oh, oh, she did my hair today. And, da -da 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 -da. and I'd be like, I don't want to hear that. 
<laughs> I'm not I'm not here for that. I don't want to hear that. Like, don't tell me, you know, but it's my it's your child. So your child is gonna just share with you what they you know what I'm saying, um, what their day was and because they're excited. They're not they don't have any concept of those barriers or you feeling uncomfortable or whatever, right? So they're not they're just sharing it with you. But you gotta be prepared for that. And when that happens, if you're not doing anything, if you don't have a lot of other things filling you up, a lot of other things going on, it's gonna bother you way more. It might be a slight little sting, you know, just because we're human, we're women, we're emotional. Um, but it's not gonna break you. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have anything going on, that's the kind of shit that could like break you down, like, you know, and have you self doubting yourself and that kind of thing. So just keep that in mind. Just keep yourself busy, keep yourself occupied, stay on your shit. Last but not least, last but not least, okay? I have the last tip on how to deal with your baby daddy's new girlfriend, okay? Last tip is give the baby daddy, your baby daddy, and his new girlfriend time. Give the relationship some time. Don't feel like this, and this is again, this is more so for the girls that are that give a fuck. <laughs> Cause sometimes you you could care less. Like, I don't care what you're doing, bro. Just come get my child. Like, I don't care what's going on. I don't care if we together. I don't care who you with, bro. Just come get my baby. Like, I have shit to do. As long as you're taking care of my kid, I don't really care. So this is more so really for the women who are kind of like in limbo with kind of like feeling like they still want their baby daddy or are not quite comfortable with the way that it ended. Or maybe they don't want him or maybe you guys don't want him, but, but you are trying to figure out ways to coexist without still feeling emotionally attached to them. You know what I'm saying? So um, just give it some time because I'll tell you this, like I said before, men can't really be by themselves. You know, we can get out of a relationship or a situation and kind of just be hell bent on whoever it is that we was with and kind of just chill for a minute because we too emotionally attached to deal with like somebody else. The sight of another nigga could be like disgusting, like, oh, you get on my nerves. But for men, that's how they heal. The first, the, as soon as they break up, they out with the next one. That's just how they move. And then a month or two, once they enter the new relationship or situation with the new girl, then it dawns on them. They get sick of her. She's not new anymore. And so then they be like, damn, like, where is my girl? Where is my baby mama? Where is the person that I really love and care about? Then they start wondering and asking, you know. So sometimes it's better just to let them do them. As women, we be trying to, like, control the outcome so much. And we be so nervous and insecure that we don't be confident enough in ourselves and our abilities and what it is that we possess. We feel like, okay, this nigga going to leave and never come back. That's not always the case. Sometimes you got to just let a man do him. If that's what he want to do, he want to have a new girlfriend, he feel like that's a better fit for his life, let him do it. Give him the space to do it and do it with confidence and do it with peace. Meet him with peace, no resistance. Because that's the first thing that they want to do is try to stay like baby mamas is just so extra, which a lot of them are because it's, again, steeped in insecurity. That's just the real but it's going to be a surprise to your baby daddy if you can meet him with genuine. Because it can't be fake because he's going to see through it. But you got to genuinely be cool. Like, okay, do you, bro? Like, it's not a problem. You know, these are my, you know, requirements as far as just my child is. My child is involved with this new relationship that you're dealing with. Um, You know, and give it time, too, to even have a conversation with the girl. That's, like, down the line. Like, don't be, don't be you know, hitting him up like, well, I need to have a conversation with her. And da, 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 da. No. If your baby's father, who you should trust, with, which if you don't, you shouldn't have had a baby with him. So you got to take accountability for that. But your baby daddy, you should trust and trust that he's not going to have anybody around your child that would endanger, would put them in danger or, you know, would be unsafe. Right. So, you know, once you have that conversation with him to let him know, like, look, this is the, these are my guidelines. This is what, you know, I expect as far as, you know, how this person is going to interface with my child. Like, just give it time. You don't need to speak to this person directly unless we talking about way down the line. Now, if I'm saying give it, give it time, you know, let's say baby daddy and new girlfriend been rocking like a year. Then you might, <laughs> you might want to have a conversation with him because I mean, she might not be going nowhere. And you got to you got to be able to just be cool with that. Don't be a hater. Oh my god, if there's one thing in this video with my my listeners, my followers, the people that fuck with me like as we take this journey, we start talking about this shit. 
don't be a hater it's the most unattractive thing in the world to men and women it looks you look crazy okay i don't care how emotional you are you need to check those emotions figure out journal meditate go to therapy whatever talk to your home girl whatever you need to do um but don't be a hater because it's just so unattractive like it is um but just give it time, you know, and if it gets to a point where baby daddy and new girlfriend make it to like that year mark or something like that, then yeah, then you might want to let him know like, hey, you know, I've never met your girlfriend. You guys have been together for a while. Seems like you really like her. You know, my child really likes them. I would love to meet them. Then it becomes appropriate for you guys to be able to kind of like interface and have that interaction and, you know, have that conversation to make sure that you guys are on good terms. And then you get to kind of feel her out and see if your intuition uh, supports you know that that their relationship or your child being involved in that relationship um but you got to give it time and then again adverse to that you know you give them time because shit it could be two or three months and then a dude and then he not fuck with her and you didn't try to pull up on them at the, you know at her house you popping up at his house and shit because she over there acting extra or you know, you hating on her social media, you making all these subliminals on social media or whatever like that because he got a new girlfriend and in three months they broken up. Now you didn't already showed your hand at how thirsty you are <laughs> and you look stupid. You don't want to go out like that. Like leave that for them bitches that don't get it. Some people are going to get it and some are not. And those are going to be the baby mamas or whatever the dudes hate. They going to go to court, settle it out and figure it out because they can't deal with her because she don't have no fucking sense. And, and meanwhile, he's going to be off with a, with a woman that can handle her emotions, handle her business, and know how to take care of him. Okay? That's free game. So thank you guys for tuning in for another video. Um, I'm so happy that so many of you have decided to, you know, subscribe and support what it is that I'm doing with my YouTube channel. Um, if there's topics that you would like for me to discuss, make sure you drop that down in the comments. Make sure to let me know. Give me feedback as well on, you know, if you've ever had to deal with the baby daddy, um, your baby daddy and his new girlfriend. Like, how did that work out for you? What were some of your challenges? And yeah, let's just chop this game up or whatever. I will be coming back with more videos. Um, so y'all just have to stay tuned. But um, I love you guys.